You talk about three buckets of money, mm -hmm. conservative, core, and aggressive. Yes. What are the differences in those? So this is one of the most important thing for investors to think about throughout their life. I tell some stories and I kind of tease myself, but going back to that same 2000 uh, time period, uh, I fell in love with someone and uh, uh, we were going to get married and I bought a ring and uh, so you know we were going to get a house and I took all of this money uh, for her ring and I ended up putting it into a, a technology stock and that stock went from basically $100 a share to $4 a share. I wanted it to go from $100 to $300 but that's not how the world of uh, investing works. What I should have done is realized I had a very short time period and so I needed to invest that in a safe way. And I think people have to understand time horizons. So what I basically do is say we have three buckets. We all have some money at some point in our life that we need to have safe. And so that safety bucket should not be measured for its rate of return. It should be measured, is it safe? She would have liked the ring money to be safe, right? <laughs> and the house down payment money needed to be safe. I shouldn't have been investing that in a risky uh, framework. Core is really your personal foundation and endowment. It's really trying to shoot for inflation plus four to five percent. Um, uh, just that long-term kind of steam engine chugging down the track, not paying attention to the day-to-day -day movement of markets because markets will always go up and down. It's that long-term investment horizon. Aggressive is where you're doing kind of more tactical ideas and maybe you, you want to pick a stock or um, sometimes people think it's sexier fun to, to trade into some type of an investment. What I have found is that that aggressive bucket, too many people try to do trades early in their life um, where what they should be focused on is building up that safety bucket and just that very boring diversified portfolio and not getting into that kind of day-to-day -day stock trading and picking because it's just very difficult for those ideas to come together. You might have one or two wins, um, but you have one or two losses and it offsets. And I tell some stories that kind of tease about my past in the book on that too. <laughs>